I'm gonna, gonna hit start recording again. Again. <laughs> what? Well, I was about to well, I was about to say something for tax reasons I really shouldn't be saying out loud. <laughs> Bitch has the charm. If we're gonna play a horror game, we might as well turn off all the lights, right? Yeah. So I guess we're starting a new game. I like Sonic. You have to speak up. Uh. I think. I don't know. I don't. Particularly... Honestly, it's uh, this microphone is gonna be questionable on the right in terms of like picking our audio up. So we got this. Uh, we got my mic as the backup. Do you want me to sit to the right since I speak the loudest? Yes. That would logically, make the most sense. Okay. Anywho, welcome to On Switch. Welcome to On Switch. I said it. Not our producer, slash editor, uh. slash, I guess, member. What do you mean you guess? <laughs> <laughs> just because I'm just because I'm number three doesn't mean I'm quote unquote member. But yes, that, that does make me number three. That would put. Rolling you as the founder slash creator as the number one, right? Because when I was 14, I got a YouTube channel and then never did anything with it. So that's why we have the name. The fact that it's still, like, it never got closed is impressive in itself. I mean, I uploaded videos to it, so it's not like a completely blank channel. Which and Oh, yeah? <laughs> so I think just people keep viewing the old videos. I suppose I'll pump soon. Yeah. Unless but it's it like is, a viral you did, hit. You did you have know. to choose the best fucking meme. Because I don't think we would have ever been able to put that, like, I don't think anyone, any one of us would have been able to think of On Switch. It is a good name, I'll give it that. I'm certain someone has thought of it before me. Nope. Nope. <laughs> also, I love this game. The problem is you can't play with Tails, otherwise it fucks up the special state. Uh, Does he really? Or at least he did in Sonic 2, because like if you had Tails with you, he would ruin the special stage because the AI wouldn't follow you close enough to do the tight turns, and you uh. could never get a single Chaos Emerald. Oh, it's fucked. So Sonic Mania like a remake? No, it's completely original uh, 2D game, so... Why are those anal beams connected to it instead of like a chain? Yeah. Uh, why, why are you questioning someone's fetish, man? Different strokes well, for different folks, leave it to me. Look, I, there's a reason he went on to become, like, Eggman. Right now he's still Robotnik, but, uh, you know, I don't Well, know I thought our, that was just, like, a weird thing with the games. Uh, it was, like, like, like a, a Japan Japanese, and thing. Yeah. The big guy from the Super Mario! I was gonna say, I forget there's, like, the whole lore behind it. I mean, technically, where does this take place in the t canon timeline? Detroit. Oh, when? I am not acknowledging any questions about a Sonic lore. Until later on. <laughs> this takes place in the same to... universe as Detroit Become Human, right? Yes. Okay. There we go, now we got it. At least one of us knows our lore. Uh, I'm more... I... Oh, hey. Sure. <laughs> the Sonic OC game. <laughs> we... We're making Sonic you, right? Uh, we're gonna try. <laughs> the, in, the game specifically prohibits that. Chris, <laughs> or otherwise the ghost of fucking Chris Chan will... So the, the point of this game was they wanted to uh, they wanted to try their best to like see like what a Sonic game made in the Sega Saturn era. They, Sega Saturn era would have looked like because they tried to like do the Mario 64 thing with everything had to be 3D, but they were so goddamn inept at it that the game just flat out never came out. Really? Uh, so this is what they kind of wanted to believe like the game would look like if they just decided to like make a good game and then. Add like a little bit of 3D to it and shit. That pause you made for a second, I was like, D does that mean that this game will did not wind up being good? <laughs> oh, this game is fantastic. I love it. Also, I'm about to. I'm about to cut. <laughs> I'm about to die. <laughs> Fuck back here. I need rings. Yes. Sonic got a chaos emerald. Good lord, I haven't touched a Sonic game in forever now that I'm like actually like sitting down. Uh, I think the last one I played was freaking. Very often. Uh, disappointingly enough, Sonic 06 is the last Sonic game I played. Wow. Oh. Was that the really bad one? Yes. Why? Why was it so bad? Because it came out six months ahead of when it was supposed to. They literally had to release a beta version oh because God. Sega was like, we need something out for the holiday release right fucking now. I don't care like if it's done or not. 
Yeah, it was bad. And but, apparently, uh, like, uh, because it was originally supposed to be like a launch title for the 360, but... <laughs> but, uh... So it was already delayed as is. Yeah. Uh... Sega did not exactly care about quality control at that time. Yeah, that, that game was, like, hard. The amount of bugs in that game... At the time of playing it, who knows, like, if it... When you say bugs, do you mean, like, uh, Starship Trooper bugs, or do you mean, like, glitches? Yes. Uh, probably both. Yes. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, mean I think <laughs> Wholeheartedly, yes. Starship nah. Trooper bug enemies for me? Yeah, I feel like that is correct. Uh... I want to, it's like, <laughs> I don't know enough about Sonic games to dispute that, oh. so I'm gonna... <laughs> wow, I that was awful. Oh god, oh god. See, I... If I don't get into a, uh... A very intense, like, stare down with the game, I start doing stupid things. <laughs> Alright, I just want to address this now. Amori, stop sending me pictures of Mike Pence's face, like, photoshopped onto a fence, and then saying, Mike Fence. I, I don't get it. Uh, this conversation is killing every brain cell I need to play this game. <laughs> Come Amori on. keeps photoshopping like pictures of Mike Pence's face onto a fence and then writing Mike Fence. And he just won't stop sending it oh to me. Boy. It's usually at like 4 a.m. I, 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 was thinking I, was I don't understand Sonic. the problem that you have with receiving beautiful, beautiful art, regardless of the time. Mm. It's at 4 a.m. It's literally 45 minutes before I wake up for work. You only do it on work days. Someone's gotta wake you up. My alarms! Can't can't trust can't trust these uh these alarms these days. But you know who you can trust? Mike Fence. <laughs> Your good pal Amori is his OC, Mike Fence. <laughs> okay. No, I'm gonna take the time to just do that in MS Paint. <laughs> Poorly done. <laughs> Mike Fence. Have I ever talked about on this channel how fucking ridiculously good I am at Snapchat Photoshop? Uh you're pretty decent. I, it, especially in like the time, like the t especially how quick I am. I'm like especially if I really see it in my head like quick enough, I could do it in like less than a minute. Like, remember when my friend got fired and I made that fucking uh, neon, uh <laughs> that I did that in uh, like maybe 45 seconds after he told us he got fired. I did make sure that he um. I did make sure that he was okay and like had like you know interviews and like job shit lined up, but I it was fucking. So these are the special stages from Sonic Three and Knuckles. And... Jesus Christ, this is making noises as a kid. No, yeah, these are uh, awful. All fucked it. I fucked it. Okay, I, I, I survived kind of. No, no! Damn it! I was like, what were you trying to do? I'm, I was like, what? If you, like, circle, like, close it, you could, uh, kill all the ones in the middle. But if you make, like, a partial circle, it'll, like, kill some of them, but you still gotta go back. Hmm. Uh. And you, uh, you had a time limit, apparently. No, I, uh, fucked up. If you touch one of the red spheres, it's automatically over. Oh, okay. Fair enough. But, uh, I hate, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get Sonic games. I'm sorry. I, I just... I don't think I'll ever get it. That's the final boss from uh, Sonic 2, by the way. The movie? That's cool. Like, are you talking about the movie or the game? Nope. The game. I mean, it's kind of the yes, I never, I never well, played the OG, from, I got, yeah, I I played the OG games. I don't never played the OG oh, games, God. damn. Okay. Uh... I gotta focus, I have no rings, I'm just gonna do this. Raw dog. Got this. <laughs> I've been raw dogging my phone lately. Oh fuck. Wait, hold on. I've been raw dogging it with my phone lately. I don't have any like I don't have a screen protector or a case on it. Oh yeah, same oh no, uh, I have a case oh, on my wait, phone. Wait, 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 my, hold on. My screen's gonna be a nasty like scratch. I I, I meant to bring this up. What happened? So it's the Sopranos Gilmore Girls Paradox. Go Very on. Can <laughs> you have my attention? Well, um, okay. So in season six, episode four um, of the Sopranos, an episode of Gilmore Girls is playing on TV. In season seven, episode 17 of Gilmore Girls, a character named Richard is wearing a tracksuit and some lady oh, named Lorelai makes a joke about it by asking if he's having lunch with Tony Soprano. 
So obviously, this means that both The Sopranos and Gilmore Girls exist as television shows in the other's respective universe. And more alarmingly, this means that each universe has now become a televised universe of itself within their <laughs> own universes. When the Gilmore Girls watch The Sopranos, they will see themselves in the show. Likewise, when Tony Soprano watches Gilmore Girls, which I'm sure he does, he will witness a direct reference to himself. <laughs> and then as the post goes on to say, like, it's like the, the effect of two mirrors facing each other. The universities of the Gilmore Girls and Sopranos are infinitely replicated all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, oh fuck, I just got fucked. So it's hey, like, you did uh, it. I almost ran out of time. Like, oh, yeah, you, oh, how shit, fucking fuck. weird is that? Like, I, uh, I like how he looks when he looks up. That's so hilarious, though. <laughs> like a mirror looking in on itself. <laughs> I would have, I would have loved an episode where Tony's like, Tom, Tom, what the fuck? What, Tony? You just fucking said my name. No, Tony, guess she's talking about something else. You just said with Tony fucking Soprano. <laughs> It's a cutscene. They, they watch the scene. <laughs> she, she lists the scene of like a obvious murder that he's got to cover up. <laughs> Say this, uh, saying this with only the knowledge of one season of The Sopranos. <laughs> show I definitely got. Yeah, it's literally like the best TV show of all time. Look at almost every list that ranks like the best shows of all time. Sopranos is always like is almost always the first one. It's no Sonic Underground. Well, uh, first of all, if we're gonna, if we're gonna talk about any no, Sonic no, TV no, show, if we're gonna talk about any Sonic TV show. You know which show we're gonna talk about? The Steve Urkel one, right? Sonic X. No, um, um, no. Well, okay, what was the one? I liked Sonic the mean X. one. Uh. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh no, Sonic Boom. Sonic oh. Boom. I don't know, they all have their own stupid. Yeah, but one of them literally had like a whole Chris Chan reference. I, yeah. Yeah, Sonic Sonic Boom was great as a television, but bad as a game. Yeah. I'll give it I'll yeah. give the writers credit for knowing that they were on a sinking ship. And just be like, well let's let's play until it goes down, boys. I mean and it carried them for what, like an extra season or two? Yeah. <laughs> The, the writing was great in that show. Wait, I just do a fucking loop? I love that, like, the I mean, <laughs> Eggman literally you ignored it. Yeah, I walked right fucking <laughs> into that one. <laughs> I love in Sonic Boom how like Eggman they just like literally acknowledge the fact that like on nine to five they're enemies and then like they're just friends on like, the off time. The clock. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, Amy, do you want to go do like whatever like the equivalent of like Pokemon was in their world? I'm gonna go play this when we're done. He's like, what? We're in a fight right now. I was like, well, th that's our jobs. Yeah, but like off the clock. Off the clock, we're battle buddies. <laughs> Some stupid shit like that.